Burger King has long been at odds with its rival burger chain McDonald's. And whether you have a favorite, there's no denying that the Whopper holds its own against the Big Mac or Quarter Pounder. Burger King's story began when Keith Kramer and his wife's uncle, Matthew Burns, looked to create a restaurant of their own after being inspired by the original McDonald's restaurant in San Bernardino, California. They opened their first store in Jacksonville, Florida in 1953. With this, they bought the rights to a special grill machine called the Insta Broiler and named their restaurant Insta Burger King. Within a couple years, the idea had grown into several restaurant locations across Florida. They sold their burgers and shakes for 18 cents each. In 1954, their Miami location was opened up by a pair of Cornell University classmates, Dave Edgerton and James McLemore. The growth of the Miami area made it an excellent location for starting a new chain. However, Edgerton and McLemore acknowledged that an adjustment had to be made to further improve on the Instabroiler machine. McLemore redesigned the company's process for cooking burgers using a flame broiler. His method, which utilized a broiler conveyor belt he had patented, led to a better tasting burger. His next creation, in 1957, made an even bigger impact. He made one of those flame-broiled burgers really big and called it the Whopper to convey the imagery of something huge. The famous Whopper is made up of a flame-grilled beef patty, mayo, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, ketchup, and a sliced onion all on a sesame seed bun. The Whopper spread like wildfire across America, and a legend was born. Soon after, the Kramer Burns Insta operation had run into financial problems and McLemore and Edgerton bought out the entire company and set on revitalizing its operations. They renamed it simply Burger King. McLemore went on to serve as president and chairman of Burger King for more than 20 years. In 1967, the Pillsbury Company bought Burger King for $18 million, and with the baking company's capital behind it, by the late 1970s, Burger King was able to grow to become America's second largest burger chain, just behind McDonald's. In 1978, Burger King stole away executive Donald Smith from McDonald's. Under Smith's direction, Burger King underwent a change on its menu, including introducing chicken and fish sandwiches. He also restructured the company's franchise agreements so that owners could not own franchises with other chains to encourage loyalty. At this time, Burger King was doing fantastic. They also scored a big licensing deal with the mega-hit movie Star Wars and its subsequent films. It was also this time that Burger King began reaching out to children with themed characters like the Burger King, who was also a magician, the Wizard of Fries, and Sir Shake-A-Lot. Mm -hmm. 
When Donald Smith left the company in 1980, Burger King saw a decline in its sales. Norman Brinker was then appointed as Smith's successor after his success with the Steak and Ale franchise. Under Brinker's leadership, Burger King made one of its boldest moves yet in marketing their products. He started what became known as the Burger Wars, running commercials that said Burger King's burgers were bigger and better than McDonald's. These may actually be the first political style attack ads in the food industry. In one of these commercials, a young Sarah Michelle Geller publicly claimed that Burger King's burgers are more fluffy and tastier than McDonald's. Burger King even got sued for this publicity stunt. Other would-be stars that were featured in Burger King commercials during the 1980s were Meg Ryan, Elizabeth Shue, and Leah Thompson. When Brinker decided to leave Burger King for Chili's in 1984, sales once again took a downward slide, which led to the British company Grand Metropolitan acquiring it from Pillsbury in 1989. Burger King was eventually purchased by TPG Capital in 2002. The company revamped the menu and introduced a new concept called the Whopper Bar, which is a kiosk-style restaurant. Burger King was also taken public that same year. Burger King is now owned by 3G Capital, a Brazilian company, which also purchased the Canadian chain Tim Hortons in 2014. The two companies operate independently, and Burger King continues to be headquartered in Miami, Florida. Burger King is a company with a long and eventful history. Since it was first founded in the 1950s, it has changed owners more than a few times, changed its appearances, and tried to attract customers in all kinds of marketing strategies. Burger King has always come second to McDonald's in sales, yet they continue to evolve, testing out new trends and strategies in hopes of one day truly becoming the king of burgers. <laughs>